If we look at how much we talk about and photograph and video food in our culture, like we love food. It makes us happy, it's tasty, we kind of obsess about it. And I love food also. I think photographing it and just having a lot of fun and playing with it showcases that even more. And especially doing exceptionally fun things with it. All right, let's smash these. Almost there. My name is Isabella Cassini, and I am a photographer specializing in food, still life, conceptual work. Okay, what should we throw down first, gents? My project, Splashes, Crashes, and Smashes, is pretty much what it sounds like. It's splashes, crashes, and smashing basically just make a mess of things. I'm curious to see, let's do two eggs. It really is all about embracing the chaos and I think that stems from who I am as a person. Like that looks so cool, look at this. I don't like to shy okay. away from chaos. Not that I want to invite it into my life, but I think all too often we as a society want to make everything look pretty and everything's fine. Yeah, this one's good. That series allows me to explore the chaos, and I'd like to think that it also invites other people to explore it for themselves. Okay. Go. Carnage. Love it, love it. To make it okay that everything isn't perfect, everything isn't always pretty, really we're just all giant messes. Thanks, boys. Let me bring in, we left one out here, so. Uh, okay, Plexi. These two ramps that I made out of two by fours. The whole idea behind them was to be able to throw two different food items, liquid, down them and into each other and so that they would crash in the middle and create something explosive and exciting and unexpected. It was a lot of trial and error. Ready. You got a little lift. Yeah, but. Oh, what the heck happened? Bummer. Everybody ready? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh, they were like, oh. they were like half an inch. No, that was. Oh, they touched. Oh, they touched. We got a full touch. <laughs> I definitely try to compost everything after we've used it. Gonna just reuse it, you beautiful egg. A big thing for me with this project in particular is reusing everything as much as I can. Oh, found, a, found a little lowly Ooh, macaroon good, back there. Good. Okay. Which is very different from a traditional food shoot that's plated and needs to look perfect. My dad, who was a filmmaker, gave me a camera and both parents were very encouraging to pursue my love of the arts. Photography just really allowed me to articulate myself in a way that was just very accessible and there were just so many subjects to explore. With lighting, choosing subjects, I think food visually was just very exciting and allowed me to explore. It's just a very versatile subject. Most of my work until recently was commercial. That's kind of just the avenue that I understood and I knew how to get my work out there.
And then during COVID, I was able to make these big old prints and I was able to put a show together of my work um, and that's kind of directed me in a more fine art direction. My Kaleidoscope series, I started out with a completely different idea. I went to the Asian market and there were all of these things that I had just never seen before and gave me a completely different color palette to work with and spend a long time in the market staring at everything like a weirdo, just like, you know, looking at every angle. They're not kaleidoscopes in the sense that they're a repeating pattern. But there is a lot of like precision and perfection that goes into placing every little thing where I want it to be. It really is about seeing how they're all gonna fit together and it's almost as if they have a perfect place but I just haven't figured it out yet. The Kaleidoscope series feels like I only have to think about and look at this like each element as I'm working with it. I do step back and look at the big picture but I, I can really lose myself in it Post-processing for the kaleidoscope, it might be like a hair I didn't see or a crumb I don't want there. I guess mostly retouching of it. Oh man, that one's so great. But for the other project, Splashes and Smashes, it is a combining of images. I'm seeing elements from different photos that I wanna see together. This one go on top. Yes. Not to toot my own horn, but it's been really great. And people who do like my work are really excited about it and give me a lot of compliments, which is always nice. You want to try I do want people to embrace the chaos in their own lives and the world around us. You ready? know that the chaos is okay. <laughs> Sometimes I do feel like I'm here to let people know like they're okay just the way they are. Perfectly imperfect. Go.